the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins next on Madden Football. It's had many names, but only one NFL team over the years. We're at the home of the Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage, run after run, and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, whichever offense could get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Joey Sly is going to have the honor of getting us started. And here we go from Miami. D. Eskridge to return it. And look at this return. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the fifth-year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tonga Vailoa. To his early career, yeah, it was known for injuries. Maybe not being as durable and as available as you want in a top-10 pick. But the last few years, he's taken great strides to rewrite that narrative. Remember, this was a guy that rewrote the record books in Hawaii, won a national championship at Alabama, and nobody questioned the accuracy of that left arm. It was just the availability, well, that he's had to rewrite, and he's done a heck of a job. Quick to the air is Tonga Vailoa. He's on the move. He's keeping it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Motion man sent left. Two off the play fake. Connects on the crosser. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And it'll be first down Miami. Now right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom, connect on a big shot and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and 10 from the red zone. They send Hill right. Working inside the red zone. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know what I call that, Kate? Punch. And you took a punch, but then you countered right back. You give up a big play, massive play, but you don't hang your head. You come right back. You get a sack of your own, and you change the momentum as quickly as you can. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Opening carry for Devon Achan. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. A less than ideal third and eight here. Two and now from the gun. And no one had a shot at that. It's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. Fourth down, and on comes Jason Sanders for the Dolphins' field goal. From the left hash, 34 yards away. 
Aubrey puts it through. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Sanders all set to send it away. To return this, Marcus Jones. He stopped on the return at the 27. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. Leading them out, the third overall pick in this year's draft. After a decorated career at UNC, it's Drake May. Drake entered the league as a top five pick because he checks a lot of boxes. Just the way you want him. Tall, athletic, great arm. One year at North Carolina put on an absolute show. And yeah, second year as a starter took a little bit of a beating and some question whether or not he was still a top five pick. The ability, there's no question there. It is now the consistency in taking care of the football that will be a big part of Drake's career. May will throw to get us started here. Caught quickly on the slant. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Putting a receiver in motion. He'll run for the first time here with Antonio Gibson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. May now from the gun. It's complete to Hunter Henry. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Gibson here from the gun. Works his way to the 35. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. We'll pause now for an injured player. And it looks like he's worse for wear after handling that last carry. They've got first down from the 31. From the gun, it's May. Has him on the quick hitter. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. So we're through one quarter of this AFC East contest. Just three to nothing is our score. Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. Back and ready now for the second quarter. It's Patriots football. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. Cut near the goal line. Touchdown to England. So a touchdown on the board for Brock as they start this game off a perfect one for one offensively. Yeah, I'm gonna call that scripting for success right there. Mm. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are gonna be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. But they couldn't take away that big old tight end.
Joey Sly on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Patriots one up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. Set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. Eskridge on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll start the drive with A-Chan. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten need to get some positive yardage here. They kick the running back in motion. Tonga Vailoa now working from the gun. He's throwing deep to the left. They connect on the deep shot. And he'll take this across. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins just need two snaps to steal the lead. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels. And he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Dolphins push their lead to three. All set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun, here's May. And that's knocked away. The linebacker got him in the middle of the field, incomplete. That's a nice job there by the linebacker. He kind of looks like a cornerback on that, doesn't he? Perhaps those cover guys got a little fun with him in practice this week, because he looked like a DB right there, swatting the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to the air, it's May. Brought in right side. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I'm sure Coach and Play Caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. To the air on first down, May. He's got the hook up to Bourne. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Brought down that time by Kendall Fuller. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go.
They motion a receiver left. Now the first carry of the game for Ramondre Stevenson. And he gets taken down immediately right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. We've hit the two-minute warning now at Hard Rock. It's the Patriots with seven to go here on third down. Here's made in the air. And that's incomplete. He's going to wish he hung on to that pick there, but it's still going to bring up fourth down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. Patriots punt team coming out with former sixth rounder Bryce Behringer to do the honors. That's taken at the 15. And he'll scrape together what he can on the return. He gets it back to the 20. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And it'll be Dolphins football. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Shotgun snap now to Tunga Vailoa. Taken in by Smith. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Jelani Tavai ranging in for the stop. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. He's got Smith. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. All plays on the table here for third and three. Out of the gun, Tonga Vailoa. Complete beyond the marker. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. They get six and a first down as well. You know, they call the, the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Got his target. It's Hill. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. To the air yet again, Tunga Vailoa. Connection made to Raheem Mostert. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Here's a chain up the middle. And that hit stops him in his tracks. The defense calls a timeout. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Punt team out now, and it's the former Patriots All-Pro Jake Bailey on the kick. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. 58 yards on the punt there. And they'll take over with minimal time remaining in the half.
This drive starts with barely any time left. 13 seconds in the half. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Just before halftime, we get a timeout, take it. They've got first down from the 31. Looking to throw. That's to his running back, Antonio Gibson. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Just before halftime, we get a timeout, take it. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Throwing it just before halftime. He's going to loft one deep to the left. That's grabbed inside the 30. So we've reached halftime down here in Miami. The Dolphins have the lead. Now we'll send you up to Orlando, our studios there, for Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Sanders all set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. To throw, here's May. Hits him on the out route. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 34. Pulled in by Moore. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And the Patriots will have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. On first down, it's Gibson. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Maine looking to throw. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. That one intended for Demario Douglas. So now it's going to be third and long. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. May now on third down. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. 
Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? The Patriots have their punting unit out. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. Got 46 on his first punt, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they're going to take over possession. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. They've got a man in motion. Tunga Vailoa off the play fake. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You're going to go play action, Kate. You've got to sell, sell, sell. If you don't convince that defense you're running it, or if it's a situation where you never run the ball, you really do leave your quarterback dead in the water, vulnerable against the defense who will storm right past that fake and right into that pocket. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the sack. And he's in trouble and gets brought down again. And back-to-back -back takedowns behind the line of scrimmage set him up now with third down. First sack, wobbled the cart. This one, I think, sent it off the rails entirely. Taking the L on each of the first two plays leaves this offense looking at a very unlikely third down pickup. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Now Tonga Vailoa to throw. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. So the Dolphins ready for the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he drives it towards the other end of the field. Fair catch called for and taken just beyond midfield. No return on that punt. And the Pats will take over. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. May now from the gun. Completed over the middle. And he gets this beyond the midfield stripe and onto the Dolphins' side of the field. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. They put Bourne in motion right. Oh, look at this. They give on the jet swing. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know what that felt like to me, Kate? That felt like a little bit of overthinking, where he was just waiting for the perfect lane and the breakaway run. But against defenses in this league, you hesitate, you get tackled for a loss. To the air, third and long. This gets the first and more. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Well, the defense is really buckled down. That was a scoreless third quarter for us. It's the Patriots with possession, needing to erase that deficit in a hurry. Drive picks up here, first and ten. From the gun, it's May. 
That'll be complete to Gibson. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a New England first down. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Escapes a defender. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. You know you love some of my buzzwords, kid. I know you do. And this one, this one was about real power. He got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down. Options are open here. It's second and inches. May. And he brings it in for a New England touchdown. The Patriots take a fourth quarter lead. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock, and there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. A chance to take their lead beyond a field goal on this point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Patriots take a four-point lead. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. Washington now to return. This return makes it up to the 25. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Two and now from the gun. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing again. Here's two up. He finds OBJ, and he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. First down, ball at the 36. Running back sent in motion. First down, here's Tua. That's caught, Devon Achan. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how, I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's gonna make you pay. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. It's the two minute warning from Miami. Dolphins losing by four. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Here's two again. And he's gonna get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Looking to throw it. He has the first over the middle. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. 
And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. Throwing now. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react? Read and react. you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Now to throw. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big 34-yard pickup there. And that will set up first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Gotta think this is four down territory, Brock, as they come up here first and goal. To throw! That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that makes it second and goal. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Here he is to throw. And that's incomplete, and he's happy to have that one fall compared to, well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. Here he is to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. And he will score and give him the lead in the final minute. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. And he shakes out the pressure to nail the point after. And now an opposing field goal would only tie this game. Sanders all set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. Find some space, he's past the 30. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. The Patriots and quarterback Drake May ready to go once more on offense. 
and he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. Trailing by one score late here, Caden. Maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps him get right back into it. Good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. He'll look to throw it. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to throw. Finds him over the middle. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and ten. Setting up to pass. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. Jordan Brooks comes up with it. And the Dolphins make the play that should win them this game. He steps in front and picks it off. Looked like he missed the spot there, partner. Maybe maybe because he threw it on the run? Yeah, I think that's exactly the case, Kate. You know, you get set in the pocket. This game is fast anyway. Ooh. Things are flying, but once you get on the run, it is a whole nother speed and really becomes advantage defense as they take it away. Into the victory formation they go, Brock, here on first down. Down to a knee, and we're going to see if that defense chooses to expend one of its final two timeouts. Now we're going to have a timeout by New England. It's second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Back into that favorite formation they go, Brock, forcing those guys to burn a timeout. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. Now the Patriots calling their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. for one final kneel down partner and this should do it they drop to a knee and what little time we have left here is going to tick down nothing left to do now Kate but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other what a hard fought effort to get to this spot and now you can enjoy the victory they'll send out the punting unit Jake Bailey's going to kick it away Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. So it spins up as the Dolphins take the win at home. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Dolphins, your winners, as we say so long from Miami.